In this clip, we will verify the facts in the addition table using our hands as a calculator. I want to add 5 plus 6. Close fists, five closed fingers represents five. So I don't have to do anything to my right hand. This represents five. And when I start my count, I'm going to count starting at six. So there it is. Five and six. One extended finger. So the one's place is a one. And the tens place is, we started with five and five, ten. I mean a one. So in other words, five and six are eleven. What about five and seven? Well, there's six. And this represents seven. So now I have two extended fingers in my left hand. So five and seven are twelve. What about 5 and 8? I have 6, 7, and then the thumb makes 8. Now I have three fingers extended on my left hand. None on my right hand. So 5 and 8 is 13. What about 5 and 9? 6, 7, 8, and then we close the thumb and raise these two fingers. So I have four extended fingers, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 and 9 are 14. What about um, Six and six. Again, I'm going to count starting with my right hand. This is already five, so there's a six. And then go to my left hand, and this represents six. So there's two extended fingers, so six and six is twelve. What about 6 and 7? Here's 6, 7, 3 extended fingers, so 6 and 7 are 13. What about 6 and 8? Here's 6, 7, 8. These are closed. 4 extended fingers, 3 and 1. So 6 and 8 are 14. Finally, 6 and 9, which is the largest basic number. Close the fist, I uh, close the thumb and raise these two last fingers, uh, the ring finger and the pinky. So I have 5 and 1 is, a uh, 4 and 1 is 5. So 6 and 9 are 15. What about 7 and 7? Okay, start with the closed fist again. My right hand, I'm going to say 6, 7. In my left hand, I'm going to say 6, raise a finger, 7, raise two fingers. So I have two fingers in each hand extended, 2 and 2 is 4, so 7 and 7 is 14. What about 7 and 8? 6, 7, 8, a thumb, there it is. So I have three extended fingers here and two here, and that's five. Three and two is five. So six and 
7 and 8 is 15. What about 7 and 9? I'm going to raise these two fingers to get 9 and close the thumb. So this represents 6, 7, 8, 9. This is still a 7. So I have 4 and 2 is 6. So 7 and 9 are 16. What about 8 and 8? Again, we'll start with two, two closed fists. All fingers closed. This represents 6, 7, and I have to bring that thumb up and keep these fingers closed. So I have three extended fingers on my right, and I'll count 6, 7, and 8. Three extended fingers on my left, 3 and 3 is 6, so 8 and 8 are 16. What about 8 and 9? 6, 7, 8, that represents 8. For 9, I'm going to raise these two fingers and close this one, close the thumb. 6, 7, 8, 9. Four extended fingers. Three extended fingers, that's 7. So 8 and 9 are 17. That's it with the eights. Let's try. What about nine and nine? That's the last one. Okay. Here's eight. Raise these two fingers and close this one. Close the thumb. So I have four fingers extended six, seven, eight, nine. So I need four fingers extended here, nine and nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So four and four is eight. So nine and nine is 18. Okay. This is a summary of the addition table. Two closed fists represent five and five. That's 10. This left hand re represents five. Right hand, this is six. Five and six. One extended finger, that's 11. Five and seven. Two extended fingers, that's 12. Count the extended fingers to get the ones place. And then put a one in for the tens place in every case because the smallest two digit sum is 10 and the largest is 18. So if we want six and seven, left hand represents six, one extended finger, right hand represents two, six and seven, so six, that's three extended fingers, so six and seven is 13. What about seven and eight? Two extended fingers on the left, six, seven. Three extended fingers on the right, six, seven, eight. So seven and eight, this is five extended fingers when you add them, three and two. Seven and eight are 15. What about eight and nine? Here's six, seven, eight. Three extended fingers on the left hand. 9 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 extended fingers on the right hand. And 8 and 9 will then be 4 and 3. 8 and 9 will be 17. So there it is. The facts in the addition table for the sums that are uh, greater than 
uh, two basic digits that add up to a two-digit sum. And those sums are going to be between 10 and 18. 9 and 9 is 18. 9 is the largest number in the addition table. So the largest number in the addition table will be 9 and 9, 18. All right. In our next clip, we will begin to mount, um, verify the facts in the multiplication table.